God, where are you going with all that crap? Oh, this stuff? Oh, I'm going back to work now, so I need to take all my stuff. My refrigerator, my Ninja Blender, my creatine, my protein, it's all got to come with me to work. Hey there YouTube, thanks for stopping by Dad Lifting. I'm Heinz, back with another video. So, the topic of this video is trying to make anabolic eating a little more simple. So throughout 2020, I've been really getting into anabolic recipes from various YouTubers and doing more and more complex things like making pumpkin pie, protein muffins, anabolic ice cream, French toast, all these things that can be somewhat intimidating, can be time consuming, can just be a little bit much, right? For someone who's trying to do things on a budget, some, someone who has no time, a budget of both time and money, and wants to do things that are a little bit easier and simpler. Um, or maybe they're going on a trip, maybe, you know, when we go back to work, maybe you won't have as much flexibility in terms of bringing your entire kitchen with you to wherever you are, like I tried to do in the intro. So in this video, the goal is to show you how you can eat really anabolic in a very simple way. I'm also going to christen my new mini fridge out in the garage gym. So basically what I'm going to do is pretend that I am going to work or going to a place where I don't have a kitchen and I need to pack everything ahead of time and make it super simple so that I can just eat it without any food prep, without any fancy recipes or cook times or anything like that. So let's get started. For the day tomorrow it's going to be 2000 calories total, 200 grams of protein, 2000 calories is about my maintenance, roughly my maintenance level. I weigh 160 pounds, roughly. The only recipe that has more than one step in it is this overnight oats recipe I'm about to make. So the recipe calls for one cup of old fashioned oats into the cup, one scoop or 32 grams of a vanilla based protein. So we'll do that. Put a scooper. And then after that, three quarters of a cup of water. Just pour it right in there. The final step will just be to stir it and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. This is gonna have to be breakfast for tomorrow, maybe a pre-workout meal at some point. So you just stir it up. I prefer to stir with chopsticks that I never used. So disposable chopsticks. Not super environmentally friendly, but I wasn't gonna use them anyway, so just stir it up. Put the cap on it, and that's 420 calories right there. In a nice convenient jar. So I'll put that in the refrigerator for tomorrow. The other things I have for tomorrow are, we're gonna eat two full eggs, two egg whites, we're gonna eat two 100 calorie things of vanilla Oikos triple zero protein Greek yogurt. We're going to eat a banana, an apple, 200 grams of carrots, 300 grams of baked chicken, just simple baked, not spiced. We're gonna have a Quest bar. We're gonna have six slices of 647 bread, just plain old bread. And then we're gonna have one Nugo bar as well. So that is 2,000 calories on the dot. It all fits in here. So there you have it. 2,000 calories in total, 400 in their fridge, 420 in the fridge, roughly 1,600 here in this lunch bag. I'm gonna go out to the gym, put these in my brand new mini fridge, show that to you guys. So I'll meet you out there in just a second. Hey, so I'm here in the gym, got my lunch bag. Here is my brand new mini fridge, kind of retro looking. It's got a freezer on top, big space to fit my lunch. So I'll pop that in here. I'll be back out here in the morning to lift some weights, eat some food, and I'll probably see you guys in the kitchen before that though to eat those oats we made. So see you guys, I gotta go to sleep. It's late, I shouldn't be up, but we'll get back after it tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Good morning. It is the next morning. Got a little bit of a late start. I got a few meetings here. 
and then I'm going to head back out to the garage, get that pre-workout meal from the refrigerator, and hit a leg workout, and then go about my day. So for now, just the coffee. Hey guys, so I'm about finished with this Zoom meeting I'm on. I'm going to go ahead and eat pre-workout meal, then I'm going to head to the garage and hit a leg workout, and go from there. So here we go. Overnight oats. Really good. Okay, here I am in the gym. Friday, it's raining outside, it's cold outside, it's cold in the gym. It's the fifth training day of the week. It's leg day, it's deload week, so not even heavy weight to push around. So a lot of things are going against us today, but we're gonna get it in, we're gonna get this session in, then I will check in with some post-workout food. This workout got tempo deadlifts, squats, got some dumbbell step-ups, some T-bar rows, just kind of a, a leg and back day, sort of the, the posterior chain day of the week, and that will be that, so hey, Let's get it done. Four more sets of those, and then all the squats. All right, so we finished five sets of six reps of tempo deadlifts at 205. Gonna move into squats now. Three sets of 10 at 185 pounds. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, workout's finished. Feeling pretty good. Camera's sitting right there on top of my new fridge. Let me pull out my lunch and we will have a post-workout picnic here on my weight bench. Grab a little bit of food, save some for later. So I'll put the workout on the screen. It was just kind of a standard workout. Um, nothing fancy, just getting it done. Let's see, so I will have one of these Oikos things 100 calories, 12 grams of protein, something like that. Two slices of bread, probably have a banana, 
and then maybe a quest bar and that'll be the meal we'll still have all these other goodies to eat later several more slices of bread but i've still got a few more things to do work wise gotta get my lunges done so there's still plenty of room in the day to come back in here and have another picnic just the basics keep it simple stupid Oikos, vanilla. Comment down below. I, I like regular Faye yogurt. I like plain yogurt just fine, but some people can't stand it. Comment below if you prefer flavored yogurt, fruit on the bottom, what's your favorite brand. Give me some insights into uh, what you guys are thinking in terms of yogurts. Yogurt's finished. On to the banana. It's very peaceful out here. I'm thinking about moving my office back out here when it gets a little bit warmer. It's just so nice to be separated from the rest of the commotion of the house, you know? Can a man spend too much time in his garage gym? I don't know. I don't think so. Two pieces of plain bread. This is almost like a treat. I mean, white bread, this is like a, a, a dessert almost. It's so good. Just plain. I don't need anything on it. I'm a simple man. Keep it simple, stupid. A very wealthy executive in the pipeline business used to sign off his emails with a picture of a Tasmanian devil, you know, the cartoon character, with the line, keep it simple, stupid, underneath it. Every email to anybody. It was kind of his mantra. He's worth several hundred million dollars, maybe a billion dollars. Depends on what he put his money into this year, I guess. All right. I'm going to take this quest bar on the road. Post-workout meal finished. Thanks for coming with me on the picnic. See you guys back here in a little while. Oh. Whew. All right, so I'm back out here. I did a little bonus afternoon session, 400 lunges, 245 push-ups, 85 pull-ups. Took me about 25 minutes. So now I'm ready for another meal and then definitely a shower. So I'm gonna pull out my lunch bag again here and we'll see what else I can eat. Okay, so the point of this video wasn't for you guys to see me eat the most bland food straight from a lunch bag all day. The point was just that it doesn't have to be fancy to get the job done. You can eat plain pieces of bread, plain chicken breast, you know, boiled eggs, and that can be enough. That can be good enough to keep you anabolic. And so this will be the last thing I eat on camera today, just to show you that I didn't just put this chicken breast in a bag for show. I actually am gonna eat it with no toppings straight from the refrigerator because, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. So if I was traveling, I needed to bring along with me some meat which I have done in the past on airplanes and to hotels and stuff. Chicken is fine. I'm gonna finish up this piece of chicken, take this lunch bag back inside, eat the rest of my food throughout the day from the lunch pail. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. Point of this video is just that things don't have to be super complicated. It's great fun to do all these fun recipes. It's really neat to push the limits of, you know, protein, Pancakes, protein, French toast, everything infused with protein, cookies, everything else. But at the end of the day, that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of meal prep, a lot of dishes. It takes a lot of effort, generally. So you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple, stupid, stick with a plan, make a plan, and do whatever it takes to stick to that plan, and you'll see results. So me and this chicken breast, wishing you a great week. See you on the next video. In the meantime, keep it on the DL.